Hey guys welcome back to my channel so I've decided to show you guys how to make one of my favorite sandwiches which is a hot turkey and Swiss sandwich made on the griddle or you can use a frying pan either way it doesn't matter just make it hot okay so here's all of what you will need to make this sandwich I have a super soft roll from the deli I have about four slices of deli cut turkey I have butter black pepper, pickles, some lettuce that I cut up, and two slices of Swiss, and of course some mayo. Okay, so let's get this over to the griddle so we can start making this sandwich. Okay, so you wanna make sure that your griddle has already been preheating for a little bit. And I'm gonna be using some cooking spray to do the turkey. So you just wanna spray your area where you're gonna be putting it. That went like everywhere. You can use cooking spray, you can use butter, you can use vegetable oil. It's really up to you. It's all about what you have and what you like. So I'm gonna let that brown a little bit. All right. And guys, I already have my bread sliced right down the middle. And to my bread, I'm going to be adding the butter. On both sides, just like that, get it all over. You want this to be well toasted and to have flavor. Guys, this sandwich is so good. I haven't eaten it in so long, but I had a taste for it today. So I said, why not show my YouTube family? Okay, so that's it of the butter on the bread. I'm gonna put that on the griddle when the turkey is almost done. I don't wanna put it on too early. So this is what you want. You want it to brown up a little bit and get like some crispy edges. Get over here. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit the turkey with a little black pepper. You don't need to add any salt on here because you're gonna get the salt from the turkey and also from the Swiss cheese. And you could totally omit this part if you don't like black pepper, but I'm a fan of black pepper, I love it. Wanna give that another flip. Let that other side go. Okay. Now I'm gonna start to get my bread ready.
And I'm also going to hit the other side of this turkey with a little more black pepper. Just a little, not much. Okay, that's enough. Give you guys a close-up of what it should look like. See that? See how it's starting to brown? That's exactly what you want. So I'm going to put my roll slices on the back here. Get those nicely toasted. Okay, this turkey is just about done. So what I'm gonna do now is start to layer it so I can put the cheese on. And if during the cooking process your turkey started to shred, you know, or if it came apart, that's totally fine. It's still gonna be good. Just place that in the center. Now we're gonna hit it with our cheese. Check on this bread. Coming along, coming along, coming along. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna turn off the front part of this griddle because I don't want my turkey to overcook because it is thinly sliced and I don't want it to be crispy. It's cooked exactly how I want it to be. I'm just gonna let it rest there and push it to the side a little bit so that cheese can melt. Or if you have one of those covers where you can uh, cover things while they're cooking. You can uh, also let it melt that way, but I'm just gonna let it get the heat from here while my bun is toasting up nicely. Okay, so now to that melting cheese, you wanna just place your pickles on there. And if you don't like pickles, you don't have to use this on your sandwich. You can totally omit it. or you don't have to put as many as I'm putting, but I love pickles and I love pepper. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at that bread. I don't want it to get over toast. Let's turn that on that side a little bit. Okay, just a little bit more and then we will be done. Okay, so let's take a look at that bread. That is perfect. That is perfect, this is what you want. Okay, so while that bread is on there, on the grill, getting a little heat for the back, I'm gonna hit this with some mayo. Just like that. Both sides, both sides. You can put as little or as much as you like. But me, this is gonna be good for me. So this is the bottom part of the bread. I'm gonna bring this up. Take your turkey, whoa, and your cheese. Place that right there. Gonna try and move it over a little bit. Okay, spread those out.
Now, the part you may question is the lettuce part. <laughs> but trust me, it works so well with this sandwich. Trust me. So now I'm going to flip that close. And now you have my favorite sandwich. Let me give you guys a close up. Look at that. That is gonna taste so good. The bread is hot, nice and toasted on the top. So let's get this cut open. Okay, let's cut this sandwich and see what we're working with on the inside. You hear the crispiness of the bread, perfectly toasted. I'm gonna take my time cutting it because I don't want it to not get cut all the way. There we go. Mmm, check that out. Look at that. Tell me you wouldn't eat that. And it's hot. Oh man. Wow. And the cheese is slightly melted just the way it should be. This sandwich is going to be amazing. I just gave y'all a Mr. NJS special. There you have it. Hot turkey and Swiss made by me. Guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.